as we talk about discipleship and how discipleship affects our bodies and our behavior and the use of our bodies, there is something we need to talk about about what discipleship is primarily not. So often when we talk about Christian discipleship, we kind of fall into what Dallas Willard would coin as the gospel of sin management. Characteristically, also um, stereotypically, when you engage culture and ask what a Christian is, you get a lot of things about what a Christian does and what a Christian doesn't do. You know, the list could be a long list of behaviors that we are not supposed to participate in. Now, this is okay, but it's only the surface. It only scratches the surface. As we've been making the point throughout the last several weeks, that Christian discipleship starts with the transformation of the heart, moving through the entire inner life, the heart, the thoughts, the feelings. And then and then we get to our behaviors. Changing the behaviors without first changing the heart is not Christian discipleship. That is just behavior modification. And, and, and sometimes it's bad things, you know, like Christians don't smoke, drink, do drugs, watch those types of movies, go to those types of places, things as interesting about how we dress, whether or not we play cards and gamble, dancing in some, some churches. And although there, it's okay to have a certain set of cultural and behavioral practices, and some of those things can be sinful behaviors, discipleship is not about changing behaviors. It's about changing the heart, which leads to changed behaviors. Quite often, if you ask what a Christian does, the most, the biggest thing we have are held accountable to by our Christian communities is when we show up. The positive thing we do is we attend certain events. Quite often these are called church, worship services, Bible studies, prayer groups, things like that. And our transformation is judged by how often we show up at certain Christian events. None of this really engages the ultimate questions about discipleship is whether or not our hearts are transformed. So, first things first, inner life, then our behavior, transform the inner life, and then our behaviors reflect transformed inner life. We can see this quite a bit in a large portion of the Sermon on the Mount. In the Sermon on the Mount, you hear this idea where Jesus over and over again says, You have heard it said, do this or don't do that. Like you have heard it said, don't murder or don't commit adultery or don't break an oath or don't. You have heard it said, an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. Or positive ones, you know, you, you have been challenged to love your neighbor or to give, pray, fast in certain ways. But then Jesus flips them, but I tell you, you need to change your heart. But I tell you, don't hate, which is an internal thing that manifests itself external in murder. I tell you, don't lust, which is the internal thing that manifests itself in adultery. I tell you don't lie instead of just don't break your oath. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. I tell you instead of loving, uh, getting revenge, go an extra mile. I tell you instead of loving your neighbor, love your enemies as well. Instead of 
give, pray, and fast, give, pray, and fast secretly so that it's all about the inward journey. Change the heart is, is the way that behaviors are changed.